Hey, so welcome to this video on Composer. In this video, we're gonna be looking at what Composer actually is, and I'll show you how to get set up with it. Now, this video isn't gonna be part of a series, it's just a standalone video, because in the future, I'm gonna be doing other videos that make use of Composer dependencies from Packagist, and this video will serve as like a, a guide to getting started with it, so I can refer back to it. So if you're not already aware, Composer is essentially a package manager for PHP. And what a package manager is, is it allows you to import code bases into your project and keep them up to date, and it just helps you manage those dependencies. So for example, if you're making use of the Facebook API, you don't really wanna to have to like copy and paste or rewrite the same code. So you can just import the Facebook package and it will all be set up and running, it will manage your updates, and you can just set it and forget about it really. So to get started, you will need to have Composer installed on your system. It's really easy to do, just go over to getcomposer.org forward slash download, link in the description, and literally just gotta copy and paste these four lines and run these in your terminal. Um, it's a bit different on Windows. In Windows, you've gotta copy and paste this and run it in your command prompt. It's pretty easy to do. I'm not actually gonna show you how to install it. You can just go to this page and it's really detailed. It will show you how to do it. Literally, you should just be able to copy and paste these four lines and you should be good to go. So once you do this, you'll get access to a command in your command prompt or your terminal called Composer. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So this is just a terminal window. It's essentially the same as the command prompt on Windows. Uh, so by installing Composer, you get access to this command. If you don't see this, then you haven't installed Composer properly and you need to go have a look at it. So this is all of our commands that we can use uh, to interact with Composer. So we're not actually gonna be using this for the moment. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a project folder. So I'm just gonna navigate to where I'm gonna create my project. And then I'm gonna make a directory. So on Mac, this is mkdar, make directory. And I'm gonna call this Composer example. You can call this whatever you want. It's just the name of your folder. And then all that's done is generated a folder called Composer Example. And this is where we're gonna just go ahead and create our PHP project, whatever it might be. So back in the terminal, I'm going to change directory and go into Composer Example. And now we're working within our project folder. So now what you wanna do is you wanna head over to this site here. This is packagist.org. And this is the Composer package repository. So here I can do a search for the package that I wanna make use of in my project. So for example, I might wanna make use of the Facebook Graph API. And you can see it here, Facebook forward slash Graph SDK. And then to actually import this into our project, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. So Facebook forward slash Graph SDK. And then back in the terminal, I can type in Composer, require, and then the name of the package, hit enter. And right now that's pulling all the files that we need for this project. The Facebook Graph SDK has been imported now. If you're seeing this, it's worked. And so now if I pull up my project folder, you can see we've got this Composer JSON, Composer Lock, and this Vendor folder. So Composer Lock, we're not gonna make use of that, so you should leave that as is. Composer JSON is where you have information about your project, including the packages that you require. So you can see here we've got one package being the Facebook Graph API, as well as the version number. And then the actual package itself has been downloaded to this vendor folder. So you can see we've got vendor for Composer, we've got vendor for Facebook, and that has the Graph SDK, and this is the actual code base for it. And for us, we won't need to touch any of this. The nice thing about Composer is that it will help us keep these dependencies updated. So to actually start building our project, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a file in here, so I'm gonna call it index.php. And then to import all of those Composer packages, it's really simple. So I'm gonna set up PHP, and we're gonna type require once, and that will basically import another file into your PHP file. And then inside of here, we're gonna go vendor forward slash autoload.php, and that is this vendor autoload.php. And this file is going to automatically pull in all of our Composer packages, and it brings it into this one simple file. And then now from here, we can make use of anything within those packages. I'm not gonna show much more in this video because the rest is down to what packages you choose to use. I'm gonna leave this here. That was just a really quick video on how to get set up with Composer. If you found this useful, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.